Hello and welcome to Cards by Kendra. I'm so glad you're here. Now I know it's after Christmas, but I wanted to share some paper crafting Christmas projects that I made this year now that the recipients have all received them in the mail. But this first project that I want to share are the Christmas cards that I made for my family. These are the dies that I used to create them and they are from Scrappy Tales Crafts and these actually make pop-up lanterns. I thought these were brilliant when I first saw them online and I just had to have them. But the pop-up lantern card folds completely flat in an A7 envelope. Then I watched the collaboration hop between Scrappy Tales Crafts and Pear Blossom Press. And I saw how these dies combined with the easy lights from Pear Blossom Press would make the lanterns light up. And I was like, yes, these are what I'm making this year as Christmas gifts. So my husband bought them for me as an early Christmas present. This large set of dies comes with the pieces to cut out the lanterns, plus some smaller dies to decorate them. And then I also bought these basic shape add-ons to go in the windows. And then also the holiday panels. They have the tree, the snowflakes, and the deer here. I began making these cards in mid-November and I'd already given away two of them before I made this video. But Sabrina over on the Scrappy Tales Crafts YouTube channel shares a lot of different varieties and ways that these lanterns can be put together. And I will link her video in the description box below. But for some of the cards that I made, I used this wood grain heavyweight cardstock that I bought from Hobby Lobby. But here's the first one that I'll show you. For this one, I used acetate to cover the windows. And I followed the instructions that Amanda with Pear Blossom Press gave on her video to make this light up. And I'll link her video also. So you'll see there's a pull tab at the bottom that keeps the battery from working until the recipient receives it. But when you pull it out and press on the little holly leaf that I stamped push onto, it lights up the three candles on the inside. And the other three windows are Christmas trees that were cut from some green foil cardstock. And so I had to put the pull tab back in so that the battery won't die during mailing. Um, three of the lanterns that I made were mailed out to my brothers and my sister out in Utah. But I just love how these fold flat. I just think these are the neatest thing. I did have to use uh, an envelope that's a little bit bigger than an A7 card. Luckily I had some. But uh, here is the next one that I created. It's very similar, but this time I used red foil and the basic window shapes. And for the front window, I used acetate. And then for the side windows, I used vellum. But it's very similar to the first one that I just showed. And then the third one that I made, I used green foil. And again, I used acetate for the front window and vellum for the sides and I did add some red love from Lizzie peel off stickers across the top just to kind of bring in uh, additional colors and I used the the three holly leaves um, on the front and I don't remember what die set I, that's from I'll have to look that up I think it's from MFT stamps but I'm not completely sure but I will link that below and then this is the next one that I made this is actually the very first lantern that I made. So this was kind of like my little, my learning, learning curve <laughs> lantern. But I used acetate for all of the windows. And then the Christmas tree, I added some colored rhinestones. And then this is the next one. Now this, uh, for the one I just showed and this one, I ended up using some LED flickering tea lights to go along with it rather than making them light up like the first three. But uh, this one I used some green heavyweight cardstock and vellum on all of the windows for that one. And then this last one I actually made for an ornament exchange. I used black heavyweight cardstock and vellum for the windows. And for the front image I used green foil with the deer and I added the joy sentiment with red foil. And I used the Christmas trees on all the rest of the windows. And I added some ribbon to the top and then... To keep the tea light inside, I used the little brackets that came in the die set, and I linked them crossways to hold the tea light. And then I used glue dots to help the tea light stay in place. So the switch was a little bit difficult to turn on, but I did want to turn it on for you so that you could see it all lit up. But uh, here it is. This is my light up ornament. I thought this was really beautiful. 
I just love how all of these lanterns turned out. I really wish that I had more time to make some more before Christmas, but I know that everyone who received one loved it. I will put a link to the pop-up lantern dies in the description box below if you're interested. Right now is a good time to purchase because Scrappy Tales Crafts is having a year-end sale where you can get 22% off your entire order through January 1st of 2023, and you'll want to use code WELCOME23. I'll have to purchase more of the add-on dies to make for next year. I really love the nativity add-ons. You'll have to check those out. Now for the next project. In case you didn't know, I'm a high school business teacher and I'm always looking for inexpensive gifts for my students. I watched a video over on the Not Too Shabby Shop YouTube channel back in November where Jamie created these cute little goodie pockets made with 6x6 pattern paper and I thought they would be perfect to make for my students. They don't require any glue and of course I had tons of Christmas paper so I was able to make 120 of these things while in the car while traveling up to Tennessee over Thanksgiving break. Now I'm not going to show you each one don't worry but I used matching stickers that I had for each of the paper pads to help hold down that little flap. Most of these papers come from different Echo Park paper pads or collections that I've had in my stash and I stuck some candy down in the pocket along with these little scratch off Christmas vouchers but they're the perfect size for adding those little Ghirardelli chocolate squares or little packets of apple cider that's what I ended up giving out to my co-workers and then my students got these lollipops and the little Christmas vouchers but the lollipops aren't the best thing to use because they won't stay in the pockets very well without falling out but I was able to buy a bunch of those for only ten dollars so I made it work but the little Christmas vouchers that I used are part of my December 2022 bonus printable that's available for all access and VIP patrons. They come in two different sizes and the printable includes 48 coupon style gift ideas that you can use behind the scratch off circle sticker. Now for my vouchers I use things like receive an extra 10 points on your lowest grade or increase any test score by 5% things like that since I figured that the students would appreciate that more than something like a free hug but if you're not an all access or VIP patron already you can still join in December to have access to download this printable now and use it for next year plus you'll receive a handmade card from me with 20 scratch off stickers included if you join before January 1st a link for how to join as a patron is also in the description box below so now I figured I would show you Really quick, how I made these little goodie pockets. You just need a six inch by six inch sheet of paper and you'll fold it in half diagonally first. And then you'll take the two sides and bring them together, overlapping them, and then you'll burnish down the edges. Then what you'll wanna do is fold down that little flap in the front and that's all there is to it. Then you can take a sticker or a piece of double-sided tape to help hold down the flap in the front. I made so many of these things and I got faster each time so it really didn't take that long. There's just a few days left to enter my quarterly challenge number eight where you can make 17 cards with just six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper. There are over $400 worth of prizes that will be given away from some awesome craft companies. So if you're not familiar with my challenge, I invite you to check it out. I will link it below as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.